Hey folks, Phil the B-Man here. Uh, another episode on uh, easy loader hacks. Uh, this time I'm going to focus on the, uh, the grabber. Uh, the way these things are mounted in here, there's a spring-loaded uh, thing that holds it in there and it does a pretty good job of keeping it from bouncing around. Uh, as shipped, this thing uh, is meant to be stored with the the grabber arms off and that was for me a pain in the butt because then you're storing it and having to get it out every time I wanted these things to be stored with the unit so um, first I'll show you just how I did that I uh, I drilled an extra hole this is the mounting hole goes there I put an extra hole so it can be locked in in the upright position and so now it can be stored with that in there the only difference a problem with that is that and you focus right in here Dave this thing it wasn't meant to be stored with that extra width of those arms so I had to cut off this this little extra block here so now it slides in there a little further still room for it it's almost like uh, they maybe thought that was an option because up at the top it works just fine. Um, so, but you just trim off that extra bit with a grinder and it sits in there. It's no longer perfectly centered in here, but it still still works for the, for the lock. So now that it's all secure, uh, when I get this thing out, I just put the first one in even before it's out and then I'll grab a second one when I go. Now the other thing I did was I added a couple extra holes I think uh, in here so that I can have, and this was Ian Stepper's advice, was to make this thing just a little bit longer so that when it's grabbing the boxes uh, it's more than halfway across the box, so those boxes kind of fall back into your cradle and they're less likely to tip away. So, uh, did that as well. Another change I made, and I think I'll show you the difference by getting one of the original. Oh, it's the wrong side. But this is how this is. One I made, but it's an exact copy of this as it was shipped, which has this flap mounted fairly uh, on the outside of the of the arm. And I found that that uh, made this thing quite wide. And either between getting it in between my hives like that was a little bit tight. And also when you're stacking your boxes, uh, just that extra little distance. So I modified this one, putting the hinge essentially on top, stacking it up on top of the arm instead of the side. That had the effect of pushing this flap in slightly more. You can see the difference there. Uh, this one slightly deeper. It, grabs the boxes with a little bit more force that's a good thing and it also reduces this extra space here and uh, so actually the tab is instead of being hinged down it's actually flipped upside down this uh, shaft would have been laying here flip it up and flip that there and I did that a couple years ago super happy with it so I recommend that modification. When I made my extra arms, um, which I haven't modified these to the new design yet, I carry these just as spares. Um, I didn't because I'm only using one size of box. I didn't put this extra uh, adjustment in there. So I just made, made the thing solid to the same design. And I should remind myself to, to make that modification too. Because these made out of aluminum, they're quite a bit lighter and nicer to work with. 
So that's uh, the modifications I've made to the grabber. And uh, otherwise, I'm very happy with the machine. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.